Hello everyone and welcome to Lovely Yarns Designs. Today I want to show you how you can knit yourself one of these beautiful pot holders, um, dish cloths. You can use it in different, um, where you can use it as a pot holder. I use them always like pot holders. Oh, they would be great just for cleaning as well. Um, I always use 100% cotton because the in my opinion, works the best, especially for pot holder. It needs to be cotton. Um, they are worked in a triangle form. So you start here and you work up there. You're going to need to crochet the top, but this is pretty easy as well. So what you're going to need is um, cotton yarn in two colors. I'm going to use a leftover yarn because you're going to need 25 grams approximately um, each color. You're going to need, um, oh yeah, it's for double knit each. Almost forgot. <laughs> You're going to need a four millimeter. Um, it's not going to work here with my camera, but it says four millimeter here. Um, knitting needles. I always work with one of these because I, I'm just used to them. I work the fastest. And then you're going to need scissors and a darning needle. And then we're going to start. They are worked up quite fast. I worked two of them yesterday so so you're gonna take the yarn which you want you're gonna hold it double uh, can't find the beginning here there we go you're gonna use them i have a little knot in here that's what i just saw before can't be bought of an opening at the moment <laughs> so so you're gonna start with your two yarns and you're going to cast on three stitches. I work with the continental technique. So. so you have your three stitches and then you're going to start with increasing already. But you're not going to increase at the beginning of the row. So you're going to increase at the end of every row. So like the second last is always going to be knit in front and then you keep it on your needle and you're going to knit in the back and this is how we're going to increase in every row so we're going to knit the last one so this is all what we're going to do until we reach the, the the amount of stitches we want so uh, we have now the second row the first stitch I always get in and pass it over as if I were purl. You have to kind of have a medium um, tightness on it or it gets a bit too tight around the edges but it gives a really nice edge so you don't have to do anything there because it's just kind of a finished edge. So you're gonna put um, you're going to pass the stitch over as if you were purl. You're going to knit the next. And then that's the second last again. So you're going to knit in the front. You leave it on the needle here. You go in the back. And you're going to knit another one here. And then you're going to knit the last one. So there was the third row. Turn it around again. I'm going to try to show it a bit better how we're going to do the knit in front and back. One second, here we go. So first stitch is passed to the other side as if you were purl. Then knit until the second last stitch. You're gonna have a normal knit, but leave it on the needle and you go in the back and knit it again. I'm gonna show it once more in the next row so this is the next row again pass it over as if you were purl knit until the second last one two three just work kind of tight enough because you don't want it to lose when you have a pot holder especially when you I love to use them with as oven gloves honestly and if they are tight enough it just works perfectly if they're too loose you kind of burn your fingers 
Um, okay, so we have again the second last. We knit. We don't pass it over, so we don't take it off the needle. We go in the back here. And we have knit front, knit back. So, we kind of see now how it comes in this form like we have so we just keep on doing this increase every row the second last with a knit front and knit back so, knit front knit back and the last one is knitted again we do this until we have the the length here like we want i usually have on the side like 20 centimeters I think that's kind of the norm so that's why I like the form it's pretty nice enough if you want to keep on working you can have whatever size you want you just keep on working you're gonna need some more material of course um, but I think 20 centimeters is for a dishcloth the perfect size you could just make it bigger and then you would have a kitchen towel um, it would be quite big then but just go with 20 I had then um, 47 stitches here Make sure you have an uneven number because we started with three and we want to increase on the front and the back. So we want to have the same amount of increases on both sides. So you need to end up with an uneven number. If you have 44, 46, just work one more row with increasing um, until you have this uneven number. I'm just going to make a few more rows here um, so we can have a look how we decrease them. So I'm going to make a, a bit of a smaller one here. I'll show you just one more time the knit front and back. And then I'm going to work a few rows. Knit front. And knit in the back here. The camera is not sure, picking it up all the time. So, okay, I'll be right back with a few more rows. I... Just work like three more rows. I'm gonna make a really miniature one. You just keep on working until you have your 20 centimeters. Um, like I said, approximately 47 stitches. Um, if you have a similar enough yarn. So I have my rows here. Um, it's an uneven number. I have 13 as far as I'm concerned. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So we're gonna start straight with decreasing. That was the last increasing row. I'm gonna turn it around, <clears throat> still the same, you left an open as if you were purl, you're gonna knit until you have three stitches left. So, so we have three, three stitches left, all you do is knit them two together and knit the last because we knit them two together just make sure that this has enough yarn here it might sometimes happen and it gets a bit tighter there and then the whole area where it's decreased kind of pulls into each other it doesn't look nice then so again slip one over knit until you have three stitches left I hope you can see it well enough here. It's sometimes a bit difficult behind the camera to see what I'm knitting because I can't look through the camera to knit. Again, these two we're going to knit together. Go in the back, get the yarn, then knit it together. So, turn around, lift this over as if it were purl. Knit until we have three left. There we go. We knit them two together. And we knit the last with both threads if possible. So, so now you can see it kind of decreases here already. I'm just gonna work here until we have three stitches left. So you're just gonna decrease 
in every row at the end of the row you're gonna knit the third and second last together turn around you lift the first stitch over as if you were purl and then you start again and you're gonna do it until you have three stitches left I'm just gonna do it here and I'm right back so I'm back I have three stitches left I have quite a nice form because we have the first stitch always lifted over as if we were purl and not to tighten not to loose so we're gonna finish it now with the three stitches I'm gonna like before lift this one over we knit the last two together and then we pull the one we left it over just pull it over there so we have this little hook here left what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the crochet hook you can't really see it but that's um, the same size it's a number four and put the crochet hook in here and we're just gonna work a little chain up there um, I think I used 18 stitches it just depends on what um how big you want your chain i'm gonna make it a bit smaller here because it would look weird so we're gonna make a little chain 18 stitches or how many you want and then we just have a little um stitch in here just get the yarn through and through here and then we're gonna cut off the yarn there and pull it through that was a bit short but it doesn't matter i can Sew it in like this and here we go all you're gonna do is just use your needle and sew in the yarn the threads and then you're gonna have your dishcloth a pot holder perfect gift or just to keep for yourself i honestly i love them they are gonna go in my kitchen now <laughs> okay thanks for watching just follow me on my instagram for any updates have a look at my web page. The links are in the description. And give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Write something in the comment if you have any questions. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye.